Beard oil. Beard balm. Beard butter. What goes first? How do I use it? Do I use all of them? Do I use one of them? Whew. It's easy there, killer. No worries. I am Dan C. Bearded, your trusted teacher for all things beard related. And I'm going to answer that question for you with science, experience, and common sense. There is a definitive answer no matter what people want to argue with this for what order you should do these things, and I will tell you why. This will not be the longest video of all time, but I do think it will be a very effective video for some new beardsmen out there. If you're searching for this answer and you're entering the bearded community, hey, welcome to this amazing community. It is a community. We have each other's back. This channel is based on positivity and information. I hope you guys hit that subscribe button and check out some of my older videos. If you're a new beard, make sure you check out my beard knowledge playlist, but also my new beards playlist for everything you need to know. If you have a question, I've probably answered it already in a video. So stay tuned to figure out what is the best order and why. Even if you're an experienced beardsman out there, I think you need to know why we do these things rather than just doing them. So hit the intro and then we get the knowledge. pick one of these products to only keep? The answer is easy and the answer is clear. It is beard oil. In the morning, beard oil will go first. It has to go first for the main reason you are treating your skin first. Beard oil is meant to be applied to the skin. Even if you have a thick beard like mine, you need to get through the, the hair to the skin to make sure it is moisturized and hydrated to protect your face and your beard. If your skin is bad, it doesn't matter how nourished and how hydrated your hair is, it will never last. So the first thing you need to do is apply beard oil to the skin. You can just leave it at that and be good to go for a lifetime. Your beard will feel amazing. A lot of the ingredients also help the hair as well as the skin and beard oil, but it does need to go first. Secondly, if you are looking to get a little bit of style and a little bit more hydration throughout the day, that's when you're going to hit it with the beard balm. I have a beard balm video that I'll link at the end and I break down how I use it myself. But a real quick one, if you're a new beardsman, you get a little bit out, you emulsify it, heat it up into your hand till it's almost in a liquid like state and then you apply it to your beard. Very simple. Those of you that have switched that and you swear it works for you, it looks good for you. My cautionary tale is just because something looks good does not mean it actually is good. Take synthetics, parabens, and sulfates. Usually those things make your, your face, your beard, your hair look and feel really good, but it's all fake. Silicones coat your outside of your beard hair and make it look really nice and healthy, especially on women's hair. They look like they have that amazing hair, but it's really a fake healthy, a fake good feel. We want what is real. If you are putting balm on first, it is only getting to your hair and it's creating a shield around that beard. If you try to go in with beard oil second, there is no way you are properly getting to your skin. So that is wrong. We need to treat the skin first, and then the hair second. The style, the look, second. The style and look will not matter if you don't have a healthy beard. So please, I don't wanna hear about using oil second and balm first because it makes it look better. A lot of things can make your beard look better. I'm trying to keep that beard for life and have it look nice at the same time. So in the morning, oil first. Let it sit for about five minutes. That's a huge tip right there. A lot of people go oil, then they slap on the balm. Man, you gotta let that oil absorb into your skin, absorb into your porous hairs. It takes about five minutes to do that and then hit it with the beard balm. That's a key step there. And then a lot of you are like, well, what the heck is this butter thing? Butter is nighttime nutrition. Hydrate your beard overnight. Whether it's a whipped butter, whether it's a heavy body butter, it is for the purpose of nighttime hydration. You can use it for your, the, during the day, it's not gonna harm anything. You would use this in replacement during the day instead of balm. You still have to use oil, but after five minutes, you can hit it with a butter. There's nothing wrong with that. For me, it is purely nighttime hydration. And the last question that I'll answer with that is people say, Dan, at night, 
Do you use oil and butter or just butter? Double-edged sword there. If I shower at night and I rinse my beard out, I will apply oil first and then go back in with butter. But if it's a day where I am not showering at night, then I'm just simply gonna hit it with the butter. The reason why, I still have oil in there from the day. I don't wanna over oil and do it too much. And I didn't have a shower to get rid of that oil. So if it's a lazy night and you're not gonna shower, go ahead and just throw some butter on over the top and it will help you through the night. Very simple answer there. Hope you guys understand the logic and the reason behind it. Because it looks good or because you think it works for you, is not a good enough answer to preach those ideas. There is a purpose of each of these products. We gotta make sure we're staying true to that. If you don't, rock on, man, that is up to you. Everybody likes their beard different, their process different, but there is a reason behind this. If you use balm first, I want you to think about that shield analogy and why we're treating the skin. You put on the balm, you are preventing the oil from getting to your skin, and that's going to lead to problems, not today, not tomorrow, but we are talking months and years down the line, and you won't see it until it's too late. So oil and then balm. At night, oil and then butter, or just butter. That is the order in which you put these products in. I get asked that all the time from new beards, and I hope this video helps you guys out there. Please make sure you subscribe. I got tons of videos, live streams, giveaways, all the above in this amazing community. Feel free to get a hold of me on Instagram with any questions. I, add, I answer literally hundreds of questions about beards every day. Dan C. Bearded, add me and send me a DM. All right, guys, have an awesome day, and I hope you enjoyed that.